travel across America with me. We're in Birmingham, and the question today is, boiled or roasted? Have you ever had a boiled peanut? I had not until we visited this historic place on Morris Avenue in Birmingham. This is the Alabama Peanut Company. We stopped in at their flagship store. They also have stands at various locations around town. You can sit inside or outside. We chose inside. There's so many historic items to see. And of course, the father of the peanut. Do you recognize who this is? If you know who this is, put his name in the comments below. I will reveal his name at the end of this video. But you certainly recognize him, right? A little bit about Morris Avenue, the historic district. It was created in 1972 by the Jefferson County Historical Commission. The district is based on this avenue. It was named for one of the founders of Birmingham, Josiah Morris, who paid $100,000 for the 4.157 acres of the original site of the city in 1870. At the suggestion of Mr. Morris, the city was named for England's industrial district. That's very apropos. This avenue was the principal wholesale trade district of the city and enjoyed its greatest popularity from 1880 to 1900. Some of the city's most prominent families owned business firms here. As we are walking around, I kept seeing the sign that said peanuts. And after we parked our car in a different place, which I'll be telling you about that in another video about parking in Birmingham, we went ahead and cut the corner and went down Morris Avenue. It's the Alabama Peanut Company, made on Morris Avenue, Birmingham, Alabama, since 1907. Let's go in. But wait a minute, today's menu, boiled, dill pickle, oh my, kitchen sink, Alabama Cajun, classic salt, on the roasted side, original, dark, Cajun, and salt. This is going to be tough. Oh, you can take them to go? You can buy four pounds or this small boiled? I don't know, let's just, let's just try a flight. Look at these roasters. And there's that guy again. Who is this? Leave a comment if you know. And we asked the guy behind the counter about these boilers and why they were different sizes. And he said, it's because of the demand. When they have more demand, they use the bigger pots. Makes sense, doesn't it? We chose the flight of boiled peanuts that serves one. It serves a lot more than one, so if you go there, I'm, I'm thinking that just the flight of one, not trying to take business from them, but you'll see, the flight was just fine for two. There was actually more than enough for two of us. They asked which three we wanted, and we said, you know what, you just choose. And what do you think we got? Have you subscribed yet? If not, why not? Could you please subscribe? And if you have, I appreciate that. Tell a friend about my channel. And if you have any friends that live in Alabama, send this video to them. Oh, and while they were filling our order, I found this. It's samples. Try the brine to see what the peanuts will taste like. Brine may be very hot, use caution. I got a couple squirts of the kitchen sink one. Oh, that tasted good. Have you ever shopped at one of those vinegar and oil places where you can do taste test? Those are fun, aren't they? This was kind of like that. Shouldn't you have a Coca-Cola when you have peanuts? I don't know about with boiled peanuts. We didn't, we just got a water. I love putting peanuts in my Coke. Do you like putting peanuts in your Coke? If you do, tell me in the comments below. And if you don't, you've missed out. There were many historic photographs on the walls also of downtown Birmingham back in the day as the saying goes. And this is a photo from the year 1909. Look at all the horses and carriages piled up on this street. You think they're all getting peanuts? It says this is a wholesale section of Morris Avenue on a busy day in Birmingham, Alabama. It looks busy to me. Here he is again. Do you need a hint? His first name starts with a G. Okay, our flight is ready. This is what they picked for us. Salt, Cajun, and pickle. Oh, I see pickles. Now, a little bit about this shop. Housed in Birmingham's 1907 Peanut House, Alabama Peanut Company is one of America's last surviving peanut merchants. Utilizing the antique roasters original to the peanut business, they roast fresh daily. They are honored to carry on Birmingham's story tradition of roasting fresh peanuts. It is done as it was a century ago in this storefront on historic Morris Avenue. Isn't that just wonderful? It's all a part of history, and it's great to learn more and more of our history. Alabama Peanut Company is equally passionate about the uniquely Southern art of boiling peanuts, or Southern edamame. I have to stick in this comment right here. When the lady brought us another water at our table, she said, so how do you like them? Because I'd mentioned to her that I'd never had boiled peanuts before, and I kind of, you know, grimaced because I prefer 
the roasted. She goes, you can't treat the boiled peanuts as roasted. You can't compare them because it's like two different things. You have to think of this as being a legume and like eating edamame. And I thought, oh, that helps because mentally when you're eating these, they're totally different than roasted. It's a totally different thing. I think it's kind of like, you know, there's french fries and there's a baked potato and there's tater tots. They're all different and you can't expect to compare. You don't need to compare. As canned boiled peanuts have all but replaced this southern culinary snack at stands across the south, they are proud to play a part in the revival of real, never canned southern boiled peanuts. And I think you're supposed to call it boiled peanuts, I don't know. It's an accent kind of thing, and if you've watched my videos, you know, I'm already accent challenged, so. Isn't everybody accent challenged? Except for you people in the Midwest, you sound perfect to me. AP Company has pioneered the flavor boiled peanuts, bringing craft boiled peanuts to the marketplace with over 100 house-made recipes. Wow. And of course, you can take some to go, and you can order online. They ship anywhere. They give you this handy little container to put your shelves in. Look at these things. They're wet and hot. And here are one of the old roasters. Isn't that just a beautiful piece of equipment? I love this kind of place. Don't you? We didn't eat them all, so we took them to go. Southern Crafted since 1907, Alabama Peanut Company. Soon, I'll be taking you to many other amazing sites of arts and history, culture, old world buildings in Birmingham. You won't want to miss a single video. Sandals on the ground, unclassic road trip. I promised I would tell you who that was, who that man was that I kept showing his picture. He is George Washington Carver. Do you know how many things he made with peanuts? A lot.